he was super funny and he was shy, but he was also outgoing, which made him even more funny. That Vista teenager is on an emotional mission just weeks after her grandfather passed from COVID-19. Our ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen tells us about the fundraiser she started to make sure her grandfather gets a proper goodbye. I miss him. For 17-year-old Annabelle Huizar, the emotions are still raw two weeks later. Her grandfather, Ramon Ruiz, spent several weeks in the hospital before passing away from COVID complications on January 29th. Ruiz, a grandfather of seven. He was always happy. And... Um, he was super hardworking. Worked as a maintenance man at a Walmart in Oceanside for more than a decade. After his death... The first thing that popped into my head was that I have to help my mom. Huizar's has her family cannot afford the price tag for a funeral and burial. I just want him to have the funeral that and the service he deserves. So Annabelle went to work. She mixed up a homemade recipe of Mexican chamoy, a spicy, sweet, and sour sauce, which she poured onto a variety of candy. She offered the candy for sale on her Instagram page, and as family and friends shared it, an incredible response. Day and night, every morning, people I didn't even know were asking me for it. When Annabelle isn't in school, she's now either making candy or selling it. Kind of like an on-call thing. So far, she's raised about $1,000, still short of the 15000 needed for the funeral, burial, and headstone. Annabelle vows to keep working until she's raised the money. We need somewhere where we can all go have that peace with him. A nice place where we can go visit him, remember him by. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. In a statement, Walmart offered their condolences, calling Ruiz a member of their family. If you would like more information on the fundraiser and a separate GoFundMe campaign, there is a link on our homepage at 10news.com.